7.4 earthquake centered near Temecula tonight, the strongest we've had in months. And many of you called our newsroom to say you felt it from the North County to downtown. 10 News anchor Lindsay Pena talked with the geologists about why this particular fault is being closely watched. Lindsay. Yeah, that's right, Kim and Steve. That first earthquake was followed by a smaller one, about a 3.0. Not as many people feeling that one. But the geologist we talked to, Dr. Pat Abbott, says there are so many fault lines in this area. It's a good reminder of what's possible here in California. If you felt Tuesday's relatively small earthquake near Temecula, there's a good reason. This was very near the surface. And of course, the closer the fault movement is to the ground surface, that means the more of the energy gets dumped out on the ground and it's there for people to feel. Geologist Dr. Pat Abbott points out how the Tembler happened right between two of the major fault lines here in Southern California. This is a relatively common sized earthquake in a common sized area. So, I mean, you know, we never know for sure, but you know, in terms of is this liable to be a foreshock? Well, the history of this region is lots of earthquakes of this kind of size. A foreshock is exactly what it sounds like, a smaller quake before a bigger one. But Dr. Abbott says there's still no way to tell exactly what's going to happen. As regards earthquake prediction, we have zero ability, and I mean not even a glimmer of hope at predicting earthquakes. As for the big one we always hear about, it could be produced by a shift from north to south down the San Andreas and one of the other fault lines. And it might come down both faults simultaneously, releasing stored strain energy on each of those two earthquakes. Now, Dr. Abbott says that big one could also originate here in the south and travel northward. So many possibilities. Basically, we just need to be prepared, he stresses. Reporting live in the newsroom, Lindsay Pena, 10 News. Thank you, Lindsay. And now